Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose if you're new here. I live on Somigal Island and my goal is to share a little bit of my journey with you guys. Today I had to come to this city for a doctor's appointment and um, taking advantage of the time that I'm coming to the city to um, come to the mall, Park Atlantic. We just left and we're now going to go have lunch, some pizza that we've been um, meaning to try for a while now. So hopefully that meets to our expectations. It was sunny in the morning, but the weather seems to be getting worse again. It's very windy. It does look like it's going to rain. Um, hopefully it doesn't, though. I'm kind of tired of all the windy weather that we've been having lately. Hey there again, it's another day. It's not the same day that I was filming. Um, it's a new day. Today is the 10th of April. Uh, probably like four or five days after the last time I filmed. I had a rough week. I got really sick. I still kind of am if you can tell by my voice. Um, but the hard part is over. Today I am, it's one of my days off. Yesterday was too, but yesterday I cleaned all day. And today I have to take Princesa to the vet so she can get a shot. Uh, we're in the car, we're about to go inside the vet, but she is not enjoying this at all. She hates car trips. Um, so yeah, but it has to be done. Um, the weather is kind of horrible today. I'm going to try and film throughout the day. Don't know what I'll be making for dinner. Uh, lunch will be leftovers from last night, which was carne guisada, which is... Uh, meat stew, I guess you could say. Anyways, I've got to get into the vet. We'll talk later.
que é bicha? Vais ver uma pica? Que ideia de bichinho. Princess is confused. We're at my mom's house. Just waiting for her to get in because she's coming with me home. And then later on I'm going to go with her to cut her hair. Look for a bichinho. No. I think she wants to go home. I keep forgetting that I'm filming today. We just left Casa Cheia. We are going to go to Pinga Dulce. Um, it's a kind of humid day. I thought it was going to rain today, but it didn't. Um, I went with my mom to cut her hair. We're in the villa right now, so I'll try and film a haul of uh, the groceries that I bought over there. I didn't buy much. But once I get home, I'll show you. So don't stay You regret it all too much. Just wait. I'll find you someday. So there's a saying, yeah, she does not. This is called a galon. It's kind of like a latte. Um, it's a cup filled with milk and then they put in a shot of espresso. And then this is the famous pastel di natta. It's a, um, an egg tart. It's really delicious if you ever come to Portugal. Anywhere in Portugal, the islands, the continent, you'll find pastel di natta anywhere. And the galon too, I guess.
Now, I thought it was going to rain, but it didn't end up raining at all. But it's still so foggy up to the mountains. You can't really see it over there. You can't see the mountains. Just got home. Gonna start making dinner. But first, let's take the groceries inside. So I'm home. I'm gonna start with uh, the stuff I got at Pingdus because it's less. I got these, um, I think these are pierogies or dumplings. They're shrimp dumplings or something like that. Giosa de Cameron. I don't know if they're dumplings or if they're pierogies. I want to try them out so I picked these up. There's how many grams? 200 grams. I will leave the price on the screen because it's hard to read the receipt and, at the same time and then and then tell you the price it was. But that was like $4.25 or something like that. Uh, I got two cucumbers for the week, three oranges, three apples, and three um, brown mushrooms, portobello, I can't, I don't know what kind of mushroom these are, but, yeah, portobello mushrooms for the um, stroganoff that I'm making for tonight. I got eight tortillas, this is just these small pindus tortillas, it's kind of handy to have at home. I tried these chips last week with Luis, and I was so surprised at how much I like them. Uh, it's honey and mustard. So honey mustard chips. They're really good. I didn't expect them to be that good. This wasn't at Ping Dulce. This was actually at uh, the butcher shop. But my Ping Dulce haul, that came to a total of $13.45. I also got a, a bottle of water, but that was only $0.25. Cents, or $0.35, cents, I'm sorry. So... Thirteen forty-five for all of that. Um, at the butcher shop, I got this chicken for my stroganoff. It's already cut into uh, string pieces, so that was eleven euros. It was nine nine fifty uh, a kilo, I think. Next, I went to the Chinese store. I oh, please um. I went to the Chinese store and I, for this ribbon, this pink ribbon for the invitations that I'm making for my colleague. And I ended up getting these two to put in my work shoes to make them a little bit more comfortable. Oh, this was from Ping Dus too. Uh, these little cookies for Ping Seza, or the snacks. These were on sale. They were one twenty nine, I think. And I also got this tablecloth at the Chinese store. It was three fifty uh, a meter, and I got two meters. And I, I just thought it was beautiful. There's the Portuguese tile pattern in here, and lemons, and this is just perfect for summer and spring, but mostly for summer. So I'm not gonna put that on my table yet. I'm gonna wait until I clean my kitchen. Because if you do look at my walls, it's full of humidity. So I want to clean all my walls with um, I want to clean all my walls with bleach before using this. Um, so this will be for summertime. Just bought it to keep it. I thought it was so beautiful, so I had to have it. Have it. And also at the Chinese store, I got these. Slippers for Luis, they're rubber on the outside and warm on the inside so he can go outside with them and these were $6.95 and I spent a total of 16 euros and 90 something cents at the Chinese store uh, with these four items that I got but this tablecloth was beautiful so 7 euros that I paid for the tablecloth, not bad. Okay, so at Casa Shea, I got um, a four-pack of paper towels for the kitchen. 
um, because I still have some, but I don't like to not have extra at home. So I needed that. I didn't have any extra, so and I got a box of coffee for our coffee capsule machine. This is the kind Luis likes. He's the one who drinks most coffee here at home. Um, I'm not much of a coffee drinker when it comes to espresso. I like the bigger coffees. But he likes espresso, so I always have to have that at home. Because, if you don't know, Portuguese people usually drink coffee in the morning. Espresso. When I say coffee, I mean espresso. So we drink espresso in the morning, espresso after lunch, and sometimes even espresso after dinner. Um, I'm not much of an espresso person, like I said, so I'll probably only have espresso once uh, on a working day and not on a day off. I usually only drink espressos for energy, and I usually have milk in it, so it's not an espresso. It's a garut, which means it's half espresso, half uh, foamy milk. Anyways... I got two packs of pasta. I just got this one for fun this time. This was a euro and 19 cents. And then I get the normal go-to pasta that we usually get that was 99 cents, I think. Got two packs of white cooking wine. I love to cook with white wine. My, my That is one of my usual ingredients when it comes to uh, homemade food. <clears throat> got some snacks. Well, this is the only bag of chips that I bought because I didn't want to go all out for snacks. So that is just in case we wanted to grab a snack. Got three bottles of juice. Uh, Fanta. Um, this is passion fruit Fanta. You can't find this in all countries, but I know in Portugal we have it. It's a very, very famous flavor. Laranjada is Azorian. I'm um, not sure if you can find this in the mainland, probably can, but it is a Portuguese drink if you've never heard of it. Uh, if you do come to San Miguel Island, try it and let me know if um, you have tried it. If you're not Portuguese, every Portuguese person has tried Little Jada. Um, but if you have tried it and you're not Portuguese, what were your thoughts on La Jada? It's just an orange soda, but it's different from the typical orange soda. If you have a Portuguese community by you, because I know... Some cities in Canada and America have Portuguese stores because there's a lot of Portuguese people living in that city. If you do, go to that Portuguese store and see if you can find it and let me know what you think of La Ranchada. Coca-Cola. Everyone knows what Coca-Cola is. <laughs> I got some oil. I already had oil at home, but it was like a good quality oil for if I ever wanted to make a cake. And I didn't want to use that oil because it's expensive on frying things, so I just bought an extra cheaper oil for frying things. I got a jar of hot dogs. If you don't know, here in Portugal, hot dogs will either be sold in a can or a jar. <laughs> I miss American and Canadian hot dogs. That is one of the foods that I missed most. Not most, but like, if you're going to compare them to our hot dogs here, I prefer the ones out in North America. I got some cat food for Princesa, and I didn't really want to get this, but sometimes convenience wins. I like to make her cat food homemade, but I haven't had time lately, so I just want to have these at home just in case I need them. Um, I got a box of bay leaves because the bay leaves that I have were in a plastic little baggie, and it was open and it doesn't smell at all anymore and it's important that the bay leaf still has its smell because it's the aroma that goes into the food and if it doesn't smell like anything it's not going to taste like anything so I needed to get some more bay leaf this is a new thing at Casa Shea. Um, not the thing in itself but like the way it's packaged I got some heavy cream. Usually you will buy them in 200 milliliter packets. This one is 500 milliliters and it has like a, a cover, a cap, so you can cover it again and use it more than once. Um, this is the way they sell it in North America, I believe. Um, probably doesn't look like this, but it's the way they 
usually sell it out in the North America. So I thought it was interesting that um, seeing that being adapted here in Portugal um, after all these years. Got a bag of walnuts. I love walnuts. This is a go-to snack to me. I usually buy them just in case I want to make a dessert with them, but I end up snacking on them all the time, so it doesn't last long in my house. Last but not least, I wanted to get some wipes to put in my purse, so I got two packets. They were 49 cents each, pretty cheap, so I got one for my work purse and then one to put in a, in a, a different purse for on the go because I always like to have wipes with me. That's all I got from Kazusheya. Um, where's my receipts? I spent 33 euros and 92 cents at Kazusheya. I'm not going to say it again, but you know what I want to say. Um, and if you know what I want to say, leave it down in the comments below. <laughs> if you've watched my videos, you know what I want to say. But anyways, let's get on with dinner. It's already almost six o'clock, so I want to get dinner going. Since I'm making strong enough, it's going to be quick. So I have the strong enough recipe already on my channel. I will, I will link it down below if you're interested in that. I'm just going to start with my onion and my garlic. We're going to put that in the pot, start to saute it. I won't give the full recipe in this video, I'll just show you a little bit of me making it. But if you do want to see the recipe for that video, um, check out my description box and you can find it there. It's a very delicious recipe, so if you haven't tried it out, I think you should do so. Go try it out. It's a very quick dinner recipe, you can make it under 30 minutes. I love this pot. Um, I bought this when I was in the States. And I'm going to be very honest, this has been my most used pot ever since I received it in the barrel. Because I did ha actually have to send the barrel because this is super heavy and traveling with this, not a good idea. So, I did do that. I bought it there because it is cheaper in America than it is in Portugal. And I do not regret my decision at all. It is my favorite pot. My other pots, my poor other pots, have been uh, so... How would you say it? Um, abandoned, I guess you could say. Um, I can't help it. I love this pot. Like, way too much. When it comes to cooking, I do use the cheaper olive oil. I know some people are against that, but you're not going to taste it. Could be fattier, but whatever. There are Portuguese people who, like my grandma, she still sautés her onion in uh, oil, like vegetable oil. So that's a lot worse, I guess. I told her that it's not that healthy, but what can you do? It's Portuguese people, like, as I was saying, nous antiques, uh, we can't change their way of cooking. They do it that way. And when I say nous antiques, I mean, like, the, I don't want to say the antiques because it makes her sound very old. And she, she's 60 something, 68 maybe. Um, so she has lived quite a while, half a century at least and more, but they have different ways, they had different ways of cooking back then. I mean, I bet olive oil was super expensive in that time and age, so obviously 
oil was probably their go-to source of fat. Or even banya, uh, pig fat, uh, any grease that they would get off of meat, they would use it. I don't like pig fat. I hate the taste of banya. <clears throat> In a lot of Portuguese desserts, you will find people still uses pig fat uh, as the grease. And if I know that there's pig fat, I can taste it. If I don't know, maybe I won't be able to taste it. You know, it's all your mind playing games on you. Um, at a thousand subscribers and thanks to all of you guys thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me um, this started off of just like a hobby and it still kind of is because it's not my main job obviously I'm not um, I'm not receiving any money doing this but it's fun and I like to show my culture and I know a lot of you are immigrants so I know that these videos are kind of like Nostalgia for you guys, showing off San Miguel uh, Island, the Azores. Um, but my idea was that once I reach the 1,000 subscribers, I will unlock the subscription feature on my channel. And I'm not sure exactly how it works yet, but I was thinking that like the lowest subscription, I would probably do like... This is just this crazy idea, and I don't know what you guys would think of it, but maybe uh, the people who would subscribe for the lowest uh, income option, if I do it, I'm not sure I'm going to, still got to think about it. I was thinking about sending out postcards with pictures from the Azores each month, probably do a different type of postcard, and maybe if you guys even wanted to... Uh, further down in the road, I could open a P.O. box where you guys could show, send me postcards um, of where you live, and I could send you one back answering. Um, I like that idea of having the postcards as memories, or a token, I guess you could say, of a place uh, that you're not living at the moment. I don't know, it's just kind of an idea. I kind of want to know what you guys think of it. Uh, it could be a dumb idea, but I kind of wanted to share. I think it's a fun idea. Um, I think it's a fun activity. Let me know what you guys think. air fryer a lot because it has been a very useful instrument in my house when it comes to frying potatoes. Definitely more than 18 minutes. 
that's going to start cooking. Our rice is cooking. My chicken is cooking. Everything will be done soon. So now that I've got my dinner cooking, I'm going to put the rest of my groceries away. Um, I just wanted to get dinner cooking. It's already 6.30 and so yeah, should be done in maybe 20 minutes. But I needed to get dinner on the stove. What are your go-to meals when it comes to quick dinners during the week? I am very curious to know. I know some people make stroganoff, or uh, stroganoff, <laughs> just a different pronunciation, um, for Sunday meals, like a special meal, but to me it's a very quick, easy meal, so um, I will make it on a Sunday, it is a special meal, but it's also a very quick meal, so I have no problem on making it during the week. Most of the time it is just me and Rish, but I do like to make things special. Um, I don't think there needs to be a special event or season or day to spice up a plate and make things interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape my rice into a ball for presentation. Definitely unnecessary. Definitely uh, dirtying another dish, but making a meal interesting. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I think the little things are what counts. That one's cute. We just had dinner, um, I'm gonna clean up after dinner, and I want to make the yogurt cake. Um, I wasn't planning on making any desserts today, but I feel like eating that yogurt cake. Um, I have the recipe that I just wrote down in my notebook. Um, I used the recipe offline last time I made this cake, and I love the cake. It's a very soft cake, uh, very appetizing, easy to eat, um, so yeah, I think I'll be making the yogurt cake and I will show you a little bit of it um, and I'll leave the written recipe down in the description below, but I won't do a full explaining, a full recipe explaining how to make it on the channel. Oh, well, at least on this video. I can make a separate video on the yogurt cake if you want me to. I'm just going to start making it. I'm going to turn my oven on so it can start warming up. It doesn't um, take a lot. It takes four eggs, two cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of oil, one cup of, one cup of natural yogurt, half a teaspoon of... Um, vanilla, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Seems simple, doesn't it? Let's start making it.
think this was the same recipe that I used last time. I really loved last time yogurt cake. I found the recipe off Pinterest. down. Okay, it almost burned. Doesn't look bad. Let's see how it is. There you go. It is soft. Now, it is very, very soft. Like, Moist. Let's taste it. Hmm. So, the cake is really good. Really moist. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, coming along, spending a little bit of time with me. Um, I really enjoy making these vlogs. <clears throat> and I hope you guys enjoy them too. Let me know what you would like to see. I know a lot of people like it when I show the islands. But let me know what your favorite part of my videos are. And what, what content you want me to see. You want me to make more of. I really do appreciate all of your support. So I cannot end the video ever without thanking you guys so, so much. And I'm going to do it in Portuguese too because I have a lot of Portuguese viewers. So, muito obrigada a todos por verem os meus vídeos e por apoiarem. Significa muito para mim. I'm kind of embarrassed speaking in Portuguese. <laughs> I'm so used to speaking in English in the video, so it's a little strange for me to speak in Portuguese. But it is my mother language, my mother tongue, however you would say it. So, yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to hit that like button. It really does support my, con um, my channel. And comment down below anything that you want. I've asked so many questions during the video. And I also want to know what you guys uh, like watching. So please don't forget to comment down below. And lastly, do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss future content. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!